Steve Rogers should have passed the Captain America mantle on to Bucky. Agreed. That's what happens in the comic after he dies, goes to Bucky for a little bit, then way down the line it goes to Falcon. I think they could have developed the character a little bit better, developed that relationship more, and then eventually had it go to Falcon. Here's my problem with this. Okay. In the way the MCU played out, Bucky is a war criminal. <laughs> Okay. He's a terrorist working <laughs> for all these horror, sleeper agent for all these other countries so as an assassin. Arc, right? Redemption arc, but Captain America is like the symbol of your, your army, your nation. And having your symbol be a war criminal terrorist is just not the right guy, in particular, that soon after. I guess there was a five year time yeah. gap there, but like, that's probably not the best person versus. Do we pick the war criminal or do we pick the celebrated soldier? Uh, probably the celebrated soldier makes more sense. Iron Man is overrated. It's fine and has its moments, but it feels it feels too simple. The final battle is very anticlimactic. Go. So I, I think that this is one of these sentiments. If you weren't there in 2008, if your first Marvel movie in the theater was Avengers or something in phase three, where they got so big and they're all team up movies, and then you go back and watch Iron Man, it feels small. It does feel simple. That's a fair observation. That's exactly why I do think it's one of the better films. It doesn't have the weight of the rest of the MCU. Right. It's not trying to fit into all this other continuity. It's a simple story about this man's like classic hero's journey where he literally goes into a cave and is reborn a new man. It's just iconic, great stuff with, yeah, it doesn't have all the shenanigans, but that's what I like about it. 